Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue. Welcome back to the Jeff Solo channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, press the button to subscribe. And if you don't even like the video, like it or dislike it, whatever you fancy. <laughs> I'm only joking guys, it is me, it's not Nartastic Taylor, it is me, so apologies for the start. But welcome and bienvenue, nevertheless, uh, back from England, did a bit of charity shop uh, shopping, no I didn't, that's a lie, uh, car boot, car boot and Asda, that's what I did on my holiday, spent most of my time in Asda and at one car boot sale, it's there for three days, so yeah, yeah, it was good, it was good, good time away. Um, just just a few days, drive down, drive back. I tell you something though, for you lot down south, I feel sorry for you. Honestly, there is more roadworks on the M6 and everywhere I went in, in England uh, than anywhere else probably in Europe combined. <laughs> I mean, you're up here, it's like driving in fucking Africa with all the potholes and everything kicking about. And if you see a fucking roadwork man, it's like seeing a dodo. So, um, yeah. I feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> so anyway, let's get cracked into this because I've done this a couple of times now and I fucked it up and all sorts of carry on. Somebody came in, I spilt my tea, you know, the usual shite on this professional channel. So we'll just get cracked in. Toot sweet. There. Spock. Um, I like Spock. I don't like Star Trek particularly. I, I don't hate it. I don't particularly like it. But he is, uh, the original series is the one I, I kind of like the most. And, uh that's the original Spock, so it's pretty cool. Quid, boxed, not bad. Uh, three of these Bilbo Bagginses, uh, sort of see-through ones, uh, the invisible ones apparently. So yeah, I've got three of them for a quid each. No bad. And then Asda have started doing that thing where they're kind of half-pricing the uh, Black Series for a limited time just to kind of shift them before they get the new wave in. So I got these for 4 75 I got R5G19. <laughs> Uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. So that was pretty cool. They were the last three that were left. I would have bought more, but that was the only three they had, so I snapped them up. Um, some These were all 75p each. Uh, a Red Hulk, a Green Hulk. I'm not sure who he is. I think it's something out of the X-Men. Thanos, maybe out of Thanos? Thanos? Nah, probably not. Uh, Juggernaut. Hurrah! Yep, that's the noise he makes. Uh, this crazy vampire fella. That's what vampires sound they make when they're uh, calling to a mate. That's the mating call of a vampire, apparently. Uh, this fella, good looking son of a bitch. Uh, the howling wolf. Ow! That's him. Pretty cool. Sound effects are free, by the way. Uh, this guy, I can't really do a sound effect for him. It's just flying hair. Uh, this wifey. <clears throat> which I believe is the one that Nerdtastic Taylor fancies, or wants to snog, or I can't remember. I don't blame him, actually. She's pretty hot. Um, then we've got this wee fella. They kind of knock off He-Man type efforts. Uh, he was only 50p, so yeah. The, all the other ones were 75p. Then we get into the 50p ones. He was 50p. 75p is such a weird price. I don't know why they've done it that way. Never mind. Who knows the movements of the booters in the south? Uh, then we've got this guy Cravex, he was 75 pence, he wasn't 50p actually, he was 75, but you know, I, it's cheap as chips really, so I mean, you're, you're right to pay that type of money. Uh, I've got this wrestler who is in really, really nice condition, uh, only a tiny little bit of wear on the back, shoulder blades, he's in great nick, so yeah, nice one, he was 75p, this guy was 75p, it's Vega from Street Fighters, he is Badass man, really cool figure. Um, a steal at 75p, I would have thought a real steal, so chuff with that. Uh, an Aragon figure from Lord of the Rings. A, a Raptor from the original Jurassic Park, I think. Am I talking shite? No doubt, Jeff, no doubt. Um, from 1993, so he might not be from the original one, I'm not sure. I think he is. But yeah, really like that. It's really cool. That was a quid. Bit more dear. Bit more dear? That's not even good English, is it? It was a bit more dear. <laughs> a bit more expensive, that one. Uh, then we got some G.I. Joe figures. These were all 50 pence each. So we got a few there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The modern ones. And this guy's 1993. He's, apparently he's been attacked by some sort of rabid squirrel. 
and his had his eyebrow chewed off. Not too handy. Uh, then we got this thing, uh, Mighty Max playset for ten pence. No figures in it, but a really nice nick. Uh, my brother had that one when he was a youngin. Uh, then we have this Spider-Man figure, which is cool. I think this is the Tobey Maguire kind of version. He was sitting in one of them cars, Spider-Man car, and I was like, I don't want him. I, I just want the figure. I don't want the car. And they were, the woman was like, no, no, you've got to buy the car. And I'm like, I don't want the car. I said, I'll give you a quid for him. She was like, no. And I was like, okay. And then the son came over. He says, uh, yeah, I, want, I said, I want this one, this black Spider-Man, which came with his web. Which is pretty sweet, and this Batman figure, which has a whole lot, well, a whole load, a few little accessories, and the guy said two quid for the lot. So, uh, yeah, who was the winner there? Not you, wifey. <laughs> so yeah, that was that. Uh, I think that's everything. Oh no, it's not. God, the Game Boy stuff. Got some games now. I bought this for twenty five quid, um, so it's not a great buy. Road Champs. For the Game Boy Color. Uh, this is a nice game. Super Mario Deluxe. It's really nice. How do we go with it? It's a really nice game. It's a nice game. It's a, it's a good game. <laughs> it's a nice game. Uh, cars. Which doesn't seem to be working on the advanced. I'm not sure why. But I'll come to that in a minute. So that. Uh, Pokemon. Yellow. This is quite an expensive game. So quite chuffed to get that. And it, that one works. I played it. Uh, a couple of PlayStation... Memory sticks. That's only eight gig. That one. Oh, it's eight. That's eight megabytes. That's tiny. And that thing. Uh, I got a couple of these Game Boy Advances. What this one? Unfortunately, I don't think works. I'm gonna have to ask some advice from you guys because I'm not 100 percent sure what the go is with them. Um, yeah, not great. So figure that one out. Uh, so I've got two of those and a Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket Color, I think it is, or a Game Boy Color. This definitely works. I've been playing a bit of the old Mario in it, so. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So that was cool. That was that was worth it to get that because I kind of like that. And then I got these kind of add-on bits, you know, with magnifying glasses and all sorts. I have to figure out how they work. So I got all that plus another two of these, that, that, and all the games, 25 quid. Probably not worth it, but, you know, what are you going to do? I, I bought them right at the start and I thought, God, I'm never going to find anything. And then I found all this crapola, so... You live and learn, don't you? You live and learn. And the final thing, which I haven't showed you yet, is this box of Narnia figures. Um, yeah, I don't know why I bought this. This is this is also at the beginning where I thought, mm, I have to buy some shit. <laughs> but I do, I actually quite like Narnia. I love Narnia. I love the books when I was young. Uh, and uh, I love these things. These are, this is a beastie thing. I love this. Really cool. Really cool figure. Um, so yeah, there's a few quite cool ones in here. There's that as well. I like that. It's pretty sweet. And uh, this kind of wolf job. And of course, uh, Liam Neeson as well. Looking badass. So that's pretty sweet. So yeah. Uh, oh, and there's some of the Batman accessories. Backpack. And there's some bat boomerangs and shit. There's one bat boomerangs as well. So yeah, so that's it. So yeah, not a bad wee haul for a couple of days away in Asda's and a car boot. Uh, <laughs> and a lot of... Uh, Oh, and the, the last thing I better show you is right at the start of the car boot, uh, my girlfriend's Australian and she saw this. Uh, it's a very, very hit. Bloody Australians love it, mate. They go crazy for it. So, yeah, uh, we saw this and my girlfriend's Australian. So she said, uh, she asked how much they wanted for the hat. And the lady said, well, if you wear the hat to me, she said this to me, not to my girlfriend. If you wear that all the way around the car boot, you can have it for nothing. So my girlfriend's like, oh, yeah, great price, great deal. Let's do it, yeah. I'm like, oh, God. So I had to wear this hat all the way around the car boot sale. <laughs> and it was boiling hot as well, so, yeah. But it was quite funny, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I might, I might have that in a, in a video as a backdrop or something. Who knows? It would be. It, it's got a lot of uses. I could use it as a tea cozy. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. <laughs> Somebody's made that, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, anyway, so that's it, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers, then. Bye.